going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a real special guest. Listen, this lady, whenever you see her on a stage show, it's vibes. When you see her on a TikTok, it's motivation. When you hear her in a song, you don't know what you're going to get, but you know it's going to be crazy. You know we have in the building today, we have Pam Pute in the building today. What's going on, my sister? You don't know me there. Thanks for having me. You know it go. Yeah, single mother like myself, yeah. Yeah, the vice of dance hall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> I love, love, love your energy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Welcome back to Toronto again, anyhow. You know? Yes, man. I'm away from home. <laughs> yeah. When was the last time you were in the city? Um, I think it was when March. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think oh. it was March. Okay, so you're here lately? Yeah. Home away from home? Yes. <laughs> All right. This program, we like to go right from the beginning and then bring it right up to 2022. So my first question for you is this. Mm-hmm. Where did you grow up in Jamaica and what type of child were you? I, I grew up in Fetchers mm. Yeah. And me is a little tam, tam boy. I've had my shots alone, my bum flick, anything on the little boy, I'm doing it. I do. mm-hmm. just grew like a little tam boy. And what was Fletcher's Land like growing up that time there? But then, it is it's just kind of different, you know. Which part of me that it kind of dark, like now we look past street light, you know. Or I don't know if the people them lick it out or what. And you know, we go around some rough set of kids. We just all we fight, we play, we be friend this minute, and you know, it got us life. All life sit a bit up and thing. But growing up, you know, we do the right thing still. Mm-hmm. And when you're growing up, what type of, what did you think you were going to grow up to be? A nurse, a doctor, a lawyer? What did you want to be growing up? Honestly, me never, me always like entertain. Mm-hmm. Me never really had some more and be this or more and be that, but me knowing growing up, I always like to entertain. Like to sing, me like to dance, me like to act. Me just ever entertain. I saw me still, me just turn up and I do some things that make you laugh. Me just see when I really, man, just a dance. So. Yeah. Me just always like entertain growing up. You always just had a vibe about you. Yeah, man, you have to have that man because you have to protect your peace, you have to protect your energy, you have to protect your peace. Mm-hmm. So you have to go around people who bring good vibes, good energy, and all of that. So, you know, because if somebody come around here every day and them come with bad energy, what do you think will happen? It all just messed up your day. It's very good. You understand? So you have to just focus and protect your, you know, protect yourself. From there, mm-hmm. everything is good. You're doing it. What did you discover first? Music? Dancing, acting, what what was the first one you really discovered? All right, and me did I always like acting. Me always like dance and act. Mm-hmm. But going to school, me ever beat on the decks and a DJ. That I might ever do that. Mm-hmm. But acting, going to school, me usually acting, me usually do. Who's your actor? Who do you like? Me always like Oliver Titus. <laughs> like growing up, yeah, me like <laughs> the people there. Oliver <laughs> Titus. I have a couple more of them too. Mm-hmm. You know, some of them remember them name, but yeah, but them two they do Oliver, they especially at Oliver, just them man the face alone make you laugh. Yeah. A lot of jokes, you understand. Mm-hmm. So even growing up at home, you have any brothers or sisters or anything? But at the time, when I was younger, I did have one sister mm-hmm. when me knew about. Mm-hmm. And me have a brother by my father's side when me knew about. But him did migrate Ghana foreign. Okay, so you were almost like an only child for a while there. Yeah, but all right, let me tell you, my mother died hmm. um, when I was 10 years old. Mm-hmm. My mother of two of us, me and my sister, and my mother did like um, 95 independent, and my sister did like 96, couple of days after independent. Hmm. So actually that time I was, you know, me did it me alone, because as well, my sister brother did gone away, so you understand, so I'm me alone. And you being a person that's full of so much vibes and stuff, how did that affect you at such a young age at that time? Now? Yeah, man, I will leave a little things go through my head, man. And I will leave a little things. It's rough growing up without a mother. My father never did this still, because he didn't get locked up away. So mm-hmm. he never did this. So he just come like me alone, did he? Mm-hmm. I just I go and do it. And I tug it out with my grandmother and my auntie till my grandmother pass off and thing. You understand? So. I just, you understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so then you said you discovered acting and all that stuff. So even music, who did you like? Do you like singers or DJs or R&B? What type of music do you like? All right, me, 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 me love Bunty Killer. Still love him same way. 
growing up sizzler me just listen to some sizzler you know sizzler they have them little conscious song the more while when you go through some things that you want to look up mates you have to turn to certain song um garnet silk you know you have to roll it a couple of artists where you know you just want to look up vibes and thing but you will hear this song yeah Mm-hmm. Okay, because you said you used to beat on the desk when everything. So you're DJing or singing when you're beating on the desk? Both, you know. Yeah. Both. Who, whose lyrics were you DJing at that time there? I me mean, just make up things. Yeah. Make up things. Me and my school friend them. Make up some little foolishness, but it work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, practice. You never know. I practice that from them time until now. You know. And did you get into any competitions or anything at that time there? Competition? Yeah. No, you know. No school contest, school choir or anything? Um, yeah, me do the drama. Drama, yeah. And when time a parent teacher meet and thing we me and my friend them always like do some little things in the drama class, you know, for entertain before the teachers them start talk to the parents, them, you know, and thing with dance, sometimes we sing, we act and them little thing there. And those stuff there. So it was a it was a good vibe. So then now going through high school, did you actually get into music that time you wanted to pursue music or mm, that was no no you that art going to school me just go Calabar Junior High and mm. at that time um, grade nine me get pregnant so me that try to send back myself go to school the woman center but like things never work so me have to take it to the street but here I am. Mm-hmm. Right there like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, because like I said, because these kind of conversations really get to know, because we see your energy on stage, we hear the song, but we really like to get to know the person for who they are. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you said, okay, you got pregnant, young. Uh, 15 or 16, you said? 16. 16, all right. So you had your son, so you had to get straight to work then. Yeah, mommy, I have to do it, man. What were you doing at that time then? All right, well, that time, um, I sell downtown. Mm. Mm. Not my fair living, sell downtown, and then afterward, I stop sell downtown, I work at the Gleaner Company, Gleaner Company, and then working at the Gleaner Company, me that work at one selfish place on Ugly Park Road. So when I time, I have two jobs. Yeah. Yeah. And when me work at Gleaner, two of my friends come call me one night before the morning, come work from night till the morning, mm. call me and say, Tony Mataran, I want to do something for one song, I want to inch one song. Okay, so then this is what it is. Yeah. How did you link with Matran in the first place for him to even know that time come around? You could now, do that type of stuff. I'm one of my friends with Jelly Deal and him come around. Mm-hmm. When him come around, I just stack up some bag of things and him love it. <laughs> beard slang me give him and mm-hmm. beard things me say. And him just love it. I mean, I say, you can't say this, I run with this. And, you know, I just stack up some things. Come me, me, me good that way. And from that... Come usually watch the African movie, but I usually say, hey, in this village. And then look at something, so when Tony hear it, Tony say, yeah, man, more pan put it, come put on an inch there. So when we go, come put on an inch pan, who does see them girl you want? And I say, hey, in this village, some girls are very stupid. Hey, pan put That's where we get the name pan put it. Okay, what was, what's pan put supposed to mean? All right. Pam put is from the African movie. When me, 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 me ask, nobody can tell me. When I tell me, me ask, search and I search and I link what I'm bridging over Africa. I must say, it means June plum. One time, them say, no, man, a bad word it mean. Me no know anything about yeah. Pam put just fit me. God just, he just, I just, God just work everything good. Mm-hmm. So then you got this song here now because right at that time their African movies were running. Running it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Van Vicker. Um, there were so many of them. Blood Beyonce. Sister. Yes. Right. Start, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then that was what you're into. And then you took that intro, gave yeah, it to Matra. Yeah. When was the first time you heard it back on a record? Like either in the radio or a car passing by. When was the first time you heard the back? Say, holy smokes, that's me there. Um, When my ear back, I think... I was ready in my son. I look at my baby. I was bearing him. Mm-hmm. I made it on the radio. Me and my voice. What was that feeling like? Yeah, man, the feelings that he's a good man, real good man. He's a mm-hmm. child. If you hear myself on the radio, I say, Mama, you hear, you hear me there? Me, that's it, you know? Yeah. When, and then when did you know it started to really take off? This right here really started to take off. All right, then. We have this event keep on my yard. In a fresh in a fresh as land square named Dirty Friday. Mm-hmm. You see this so I they say everything start from the video them the DVD them I got foreign yeah. people they must see me they must see first everybody know me as Bujo Fabulous. But when we do the inch of a matter, mm-hmm. 
couple months later, they start saying, she said, Pampute, she named Pampute. So me just work with the Pampute. Mm-hmm. Okay, before you even pass on, how did you get your name Buja Fabulous in the first place? All right, Buju Fabulous. My mother's surname is Bantan. Mm. So that's where me get the Buju. Fabulous. Yeah, and Fabulous now is a crew named Fabulous Girls. So each one, you have Pinky Fabulous, Anna K Fabulous, Michelle Fabulous, Stacey Fabulous. And you have Buju Fabulous, Michelle Fabulous. Mm-hmm. You know? So... Were you a dancer at Dutty Fridays at time? Yes. Yes, man. I'm Dance and... Mm. You know, just steady and entertain and other things. But I was loved from them time yeah. till now. That's when the daggering just yes, started to come. Yes, daggering, daggering. And then from them time, they know when we do the inch of a matter around, we do two inch of a matter around. Okay. And then we do the two inch of a matter around. For them, say them, haul up in the cool air. And them don't know the flavor. Them haul up in the flower. And them don't see the weevil. I saw if I know some of them are evil, them ask for the wife. I would just give them the shit, make them for no do the thing different I want to them. So me, they do that intro, they know, and yeah. they know my management offy mm-hmm. find me. I let live in the same community. Him find me, I say, yo, you're an intro girl, you're an artist, you're an advice, and him get the song goody good, mm-hmm. right, and bring to me for me study it from a youth named Priceless from Saint Thomas. Yeah. I mean, I say to him, say then me, me alone can't sing one whole song. Cause me I say, oh, this I go do. Yeah. You know. Kind of shy and I, I must say, no, man, you can't do it, man. And then I study the song and go sing it. Walk out, y'all call your money, yeah. Me goody, 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 good, good, good. And from that, the rest are history. That song, they are classic until today, dear. Of course. Classic, classic, classic. When you want to get the dance that, started. Yes, when they want to get them get money off a play, Pampute. Yeah. And then you guys even shot the videos back then also. Yeah. How did that do for your career? Now that, okay, you have the intro. You're dancing and you see, remember that time, Dutty Fridays, the DVDs were coming all over the place. Yeah, all right, then, all right, then, with that now, I capitalize on it. Mm-hmm. I don't sit down and wait for nobody to no hand out and wait for nobody. I just know, say, I do two inch, I matter and introduce me to the world, but just capitalize on it mm-hmm. and just build from there. Because some people, you give them the milk, them still when you give them the cheese. Mm-hmm. You give them the water, them when you give them the lime and the sugar. Well, that's not me. Yeah. Until today, day, enough people want me to eat a bad mind spice. I mean, nah, do that. Because at the end of the day, I have talent too. I mean, can't do it to somebody that needs for bad mind. Nobody. Yeah. I mean, I need for vex with nobody for nothing. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. just doing? I have to do. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. You have the intro, you have an actual full song now. Did you actually get management at this time or what was going on for your career? And were you still right, working there, at your normal time, job? At that time, me have um, Good Youth Production. Good Youth Production is a still part of me and always be a part of me because I'm so ungrateful. I always remember where I come from. And they never must have to take me, never must have to link me, he never must have to get the redeem, he never must have to do all of that. And, you know, I'm me not, me not ungrateful. So, me always, but right now, me, I do my thing. Were you still working a normal job when this song came out itself? Yeah, man, me da go clean a man. Me da go clean a company, see me yeah. go work and thing, man. Till me just finally, when me realize I get the first call for Trinidad and them thing, then me just say, yeah, then me no star no man. When me go go, me go work a gig, I know what I work a selfish place, but yeah. no pump to your boss. You take plane a first class, you fly. No more of that girl, you work with yourself. You celebrity girl. So, we just take it from there and do it. How was your first time in Trinidad? Because that was the first place you traveled to? Yeah, man, the first place I think is Trinidad. Um, I was doing a rehearsal for um Champion in Action, mm-hmm. that show that keep in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a big stage show, the Champion in Action. And Queen I Freak, I never forgot. She came around there rehearsal. And the man in my car, I said, Pampute, but I'm around there, mash up rehearsal. Mm-hmm. And she come around and said, Look, girl, like, you name Pampute. <laughs> you miss them soon, Carlo. You sang a go on, but I kick them up over there at Trinidad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I say, yeah, she say, yeah, them soon, call it one year, so, yeah, so, now foot and hand for travel. Queen Africa, I'll never forget that. Mm-hmm. And by the time Queen Africa said that, by a couple of days, I meet that on a plane, I got Trinidad. And that was even coming off of that plane in Trinidad now, now knowing that, yo, you're going as a person to go do music. What was that feeling like? Yeah, man, the feeling's very good, man. Like, Yo, when you see where you come from, when you see some step where God make, that's why nobody can tell me nothing about God. You see, if you tell me, say no God, and they talk foolish, it's me in a problem. Mm-hmm. Because you see, see faith and prayer and work 
Can nobody feel like see you got lazy and get you. You have to work and pray, you know. And move to things, you know. Yeah, man. Hmm. You understand. You know how it goes. Big song now. Intro and everything. You're pop popping. What was your next move now? You, you made your fly out. What was your next move now? For just put in some more work mm -hmm. and try to get the rest of the world know me and thing. And do some more videos and thing. And it's... It it a, it a work. What was the next song that came out after? Um, Ride It. How did that? And a couple more songs came out, but Ride It was a hit. Mm -hmm. I have a couple more of the songs them way. But when, when, when we go stage show, them they get that big break. But when we go stage show and perform them same way, they, they, it get a forward. Because you have some artists have the big song them too and them can't perform. There's a big difference between working a stage mm -hmm. and singing a song in the yes, studio. Yes, man, because some people, them can sing the 45, but the 45 good, but when they touch the stage, them lame. Mm -hmm. But put in, I have no problem with that. When they touch the stage, I have problem about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was Champion in Action your first big show that you did in Jamaica? Um, No, fully loaded. I fully loaded boss me. Talk to me about it. Fully loaded. I'm going to go and fully loaded and I'm going to bust one talk. I say, oh, I sang the song they made out there, mm. but fully loaded. Put a, 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 a really thing. Fully loaded like next morning, every paper. Yeah. I say, Pampote. Everywhere where you can think of Facebook, everywhere I say, Pampote. Yeah. Fully loaded. I'm going to bust the talk. I say, oh, you have some man say them big, but them not hot. Them come like sweet pepper, big and not hot. <laughs> yeah. I remember, and those times Fully Loaded was crazy, and Mataran was Mr. Mataran, Fully Loaded. Yes, at man, time. at that time, when I called when him, he said, Pampute, I called me up to him and said, Rura, when we go up there, mm -hmm. I do a side history. In all this going on, this is cool and dandy. When did you meet Spice in all of this here? All right, me and Spice left for go up one show. Them time, I shan't cut a little song, Ramping Shot, the show the name, Ramping Court. Okay. We up in one country at Trinidad. And at this time, me and I go to build the vibes and mash up the stage show. Me and I are alone in concert. And mash up the whole of the beach. I see the reach ram out and swallow out. Me and I kick it away. Mm. And from this, we say, no, so we have to come back and do something. And then we come back and come do the fluffy and slimy song. And that was the, the rest of history. Fat girl versus thin girl, you know, me was the thick one. Yeah. She was the little skinny one. How did you guys even come up with that song? They say, okay, this is how we're going to do it. All right, a friend of mine called me. Mm -hmm. And them did I put it together and thing I'm a call her, but when we come with us like the chorus, we never like the verse. So we sat there and fixed the verse and thing, but the chorus did already did it. But the, the verse never. Cause we want like, for two bad girls come, we can't come soft. Mm -hmm. We can't come soft. We have to come uh, just like holding my ball for the next collab. But I went I just got on time with a collab there. Cause we now come soft neither. We can't have one of wait so long and come with foolishness with baby nursery rhymes. We want something as it, as it goes a boom. The place God. goes a bam. Yeah. So I just got on time. So it was really that song there, the Slimmy versus Fluffy, is what really connected you guys, has solidified you guys' relationship, friendship right there. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And you guys started to tour together at that time there? Yeah, man. Then we don't come to Canada much in time <laughs> to, man. Come Fat Girl versus Slim Girl, man. Remember, so she can't put up fear foot and spit and them things there. They don't want me to fear fat girl. I'm still saying a bum flick. The whole place at you, I'm going to stay and start jerk and chimble a problem, boy, man. I think I've seen you guys on... A whole heap of Jamboree, Island Explosion, all of the big show them. Yeah. Me and I tear them down. You were in a yellow suit, I think. Mm -hmm. it was. With beer you glass on it. I shot my left to the stage? Black. Yeah. To the right, right of the stage? Bum flick, all over. Glass. Right there, so. Mm -hmm. So you guys have these songs going on now. What was your next move now to actually solidify yourself again? All right, my next move did, I feel still. You know, put in the work same way mm -hmm. and um, promote myself, promote my music, go all over the world, you know, meet different people, vice up some different songs, some different set of people, change some of the music, them kind you know, my always ranchy and whatever, and we want to get booked for all different type of events and all of that. So over the years, I've been grown, you know, and do some things different, say some things different. We go look at culture, mm -hmm. you know. We, 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 we change all the voice, do some like a solo, you know, some like a singing song. And, you know, we do song for the children. Even for the Christian, then we do song for. Yeah, so, we're, we're, we're going we're, we're to get into mm -hmm. that. Thing. How was it actually coming into the industry? Because they usually say the industry is hard, especially for women. 
and you now have a woman that's embracing you. How did that actually work for you? Was that a good thing for you? All right. Coming in the industry, it never really that hard, as when I tell you. Mm -hmm. Because when I do the one song, some people say, oh, they never accept you, you know, because you're too fat and then you're not brown, you're black. Mm -hmm. But you know, they want to God, them can't determine my future. Because them, they know for them, so they know how them for know my one. Mm -hmm. And remember, just like, oh, them and got a friend, me and got a friend too. You understand? So, God paved my way for me. They want no God. So, them can't tell me whether it's going to work or not. Me just know something. Believe in me. Whether I'm fat, slim, brown, or black. Mm -hmm. Believe in me. That's Pampute. Yes. Your energy reminds me of a female bounty killer. Wow. That's who I was going to tell you 100. Because you mm -hmm. guys have this thing where you guys are very giving. You guys are very cool. Have enough vibe. And I'm a Gemini to like me, we you know. know this, boss. <laughs> you know what I mean? But say one wrong thing and the whole situation turned on you one time. Mm -hmm. You understand? Anybody ever told you that you have a vibe like Bounty Killer? Yeah, people say that. So I come like a female right. Bounty for you. One of the first me hear it. Because yeah. I told you I'm, I'm aggressive to one. The vice big and, you know, with a bat down, with a stock of mine and say what we have to say. And that's mm -hmm. it. What was it like first time meeting Bounty Killer now? Want to kill? Yeah, want to kill? I'm generally you know. Yeah. Well, me, 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 I know somebody else you linked up with early in your career too was Esco. That used uh, to be until no, until yeah. no, uh -huh. until no. Esco write single mother song to with me. Okay. Yeah, enough for the song them boom. Mm -hmm. Enough for the song them right now. Esco really, I Esco a part of my team right now. How did you connect with Esco? I want to connect with Esco again. Esco, um, they want to shoot them. I just go there, I'll go there one day. From this, I will just start link. Mm -hmm. The vibe just connect. Esco like my brother right now. What was the first project you guys worked on? Um, I think me and him, me and him, me did have a song name. Wait, name again. Do the thing. Mm -hmm. And then we go around, me don't remember if I do the thing or the song with me and um, QQ, we did do a song name, Lotion, with me and QQ too. Okay. Um, but on around the device, that song, that thing after. I think that after, but me and Esco work on a couple of things. Yeah, I know one when they do the thing. I think that song that was the first song. Mm -hmm. And from that, we just we never stop work. We just and always. That's who you really connect with a lot, is Esco. Yeah, I connect with Esco a lot right now. And, you know, Dan Mafia too. Mm -hmm. He's in, in Canada. Okay. Yeah, not that Dan Mafia, yeah. different one. Soul Man Dan Mafia. Different, different Dan Mafia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, D Mafia music. Yeah. And still work with good youth production, same way too. Mm -hmm. And a couple other people, you know, who work. When did you actually start to get management now? Because now you're in the business now. You need to really structure your business. When did you first get management? All right. From, from day one, mm -hmm. I, will, I, I was always have management, good youth production, as well, I tell you. Mm -hmm. I would always have what now, and me really like structure my thing right now. And do it. And there are some people. Some people share the business, some people don't. So when we go around people, we try to listen and learn. You understand? Mm -hmm. And the business part of it, I will never really understand and know. But by years and days and months and weeks, I'm getting there. So I'm not really yeah. worried about nothing. We just do it. What kind of advice has Spice given you? Because one thing I know, I see a lot of people always saying, how come you didn't get the collabo yet? Spice is doing this, you're not doing this. What kind of advice has Spice really given you? Say, yo, this is how you work your thing right here. All right, Spice always tell me, say, no matter what nobody wants, focus on what you are doing. And, um, keep yourself current in the business. You understand? Keep me mm. let me keep yourself current. Then make it left you. Now hype yourself out of the business. Then make it left you. Just keep yourself current. Say some things, do some things. Okay. If you have to step on two, step on two finger, anything, and keep moving. Make sure your name a call. Mm. Right you. 
Mm-hmm. Because I could see you guys are very good friends. You guys, you're loyal to the thing because I knew yeah, all Yeah, because really a lot of people come and them say a bag of things and all of that. Remember saying, you know, me and this woman share whole heap of things together. I never really hear nobody with it. You know. So sometimes, I don't have enough people them not pick sense out of nonsense more while. Well. They just listen mm-hmm. where that person say, because remember, me and you can have a good relationship and through you and she not have a good relationship. Then she want me and you if you don't have a good relationship. So she will come, come say, yeah, idiot, this, that, right, right. But at the end of the day, you have to look into yourself and say, well, bad to bad. Me and him never have no problem. Mm-hmm. And me and him discuss this. Me and him do this. And me never hear it back yet. Him give me this and me give him this. And me never hear it back yet. So sometimes you have to, cause why you want to match up a friendship with, with somebody? So remember, so we spend Christmas together. We eat Christmas dinner together. We go out with family, with the world and that together. And we spend time, with, you know? Mm-hmm. We spend whole heap of time. So we don't really have to set you a one, reach other level there, whatever. Me go. Say them for do this for me. But nobody not navigate it to nobody. Cause remember say um that steal my mother away from me and she gone in and me have to live and accept that, you know. Mm-hmm. You understand me I say? So certain things me not put on my mind and me not put on practice. Me just work on where me want and where me want to go. Mm-hmm. And where me need to go. What gave you such a positive outlook on life? The things that everyday living them when I go through. Mm-hmm. It keep me to the day, yeah. The people them I go around, the family members them, where do the things them, where, you know, like the friend them, the relationship, your neighbor, everybody, everything, everything, the, yeah. the everyday living. Uh, it keep, keeps me going and never stop. Me now come vex me say, oh, she na give me nothing, nah, him na give me nothing. No, me try for work and have my things when me want. If you want, give me a give me. If you don't want, give me zero business. Me not really business. Yeah. And if you give me, me appreciate it and I, and I won't be ungrateful. I me now make you say me help you and you dish me dirt. Me now help the next one. No, me not get my blessing from man. I got me get my blessing from. Cause right now me day I know I'm leave my kids them. Something can happen. Me no know. I'm the love if somebody could have helped them. You understand me? I say. So I don't really look for who do me or whatever. I don't look for where you have not because you maybe don't want to spot you have that. I don't go give you this. Mm-hmm. You understand me? I say no, I don't want to rule so. Because what I feel, I feel. And when your blessing has come, it comes. You get it. I don't know, everybody get them blessings at the same time. Some get them blessings before some. But some people sit down and watch me and your blessing and make them want to pass them, <laughs> catch them too fast. They not penetrate with them more. Yeah. They're too busy looking yes, at yours. Yes, and I criticize and, and I find problem and I and make problem and mystery. And down the road. You understand? Yeah. yeah. And then the seats. And then them cuss God. And I say, you, what are we help and put you in? Help me. God, what me do you? And then tell the God, no, do you not, you know? Mm-hmm. God, I help you, you know, but you, you're busy. You're fast and others are people business. You don't see your blessing. Pass you. How did people start to treat you when you really started to get your break now? Because remember, you're the dancer, you're full of vibes and all that. But then when they, sometimes the money didn't even come in yet. No, no money Some no people come. might think the money came in. No How did money they start no to come. treat you? No money no come. I, I, me do, when I time, I do double plate, double plate till me, my brass year wet, my panty wet, I mean, be a free double plate, me do. Me do around 50 at double plate, <laughs> free of course, all about over the world, before my father got a whole and me I go get a money for a double plate. Some people don't know them things if you're not talking, you know. Mm-hmm. Some people don't see you when you're sad. Some people don't see you when you're hungry, they don't see you when you're happy, they don't see you when your belly full, for come tear you down. Mm-hmm. And that me not understand. Anybody ever tell you you should have been a preacher? People say all of that. Yeah. People say all of that, but we don't know what tomorrow will bring. Mm-hmm. I remember me and God are friends, you know. Me and him never had a malice yet. Mm-hmm. Anything is possible. Yes. Yeah, man. Your I'm energy and your, it's, it's really not even just your words. It's your conviction behind yes. your words. That's what's, what it really and comes me, uh, You can't say drink the water. And me said drink the water. Because <laughs> you said drink the water. And I oh, didn't know drink water. And me would say, people, yeah. you know, drink the water. And them said, no, son, no, drink the water. And you pump it if you drink the water. <laughs> but commanding. And that's what it is. But you see, the trick with being a commanding woman in a male-dominated business, mm-hmm. that could work for you, but a lot of times it works against you. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. What kind of, do you find that it's been very hard in industry just because of your personality? Yeah, because I'm in a fake. Mm-hmm. And some people always say, and they ever fake the business and smile in them face. Uh, and whatever, I'll go around them and nuff up. You don't reach far, but you know, you know, nuff, you know, whatever. But let me tell you something. You have some people, 
They must fight for that spot there. Mm-hmm. And I shoot down the door and I juke out the eye for that spot there. And sometimes God have better spot for you. Mm-hmm. But some people want to do so because you're the person. They say, but guess what? Me tell God. God put me where fit me. Put me where I can manage. Because sometimes you kill yourself for some spot that not even fit you. You can't manage it. And sometimes God have better, better spot in store for you. But you, you know, wait your turn. You jump the gun. Mm-hmm. How is it to even be in a relationship in the industry with your type of vibe how easy oh, how hard is that what do you mean by relationship what do you mean like as in man woman relationship this is my man this is my woman or whatever the case is in this type of industry with your type of energy how hard I are how I'm balance them something just like I'm a single mother I'm a balance work I'm there so I'm putting them good you know you say Kevin I lick down nobody Kevin I do not know you hear pump on the internet say, oh oh pump potato them pitney this that and pump potato son me me know me have a balance yeah I have to balance it because I guess I'm not too enough to want everything I see. Want. As much as me a pump me a celebrity and every style you come in and everything you come in, I want to I want in. Sometimes I'm humble and just watch it. Mm-hmm. And before I get into certain things, I always pray about it and beg God for show me certain things. And keep it like I'm that. I keep humble too. I humble and watch God work. I tell them the hype is casting, but it's not for everlasting. Watch the hype. My work with where I have till I get to my wall. My wall my own till my own my own. Where do you come up with these slangs? I don't know any of you ask yeah. God. I <laughs> 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 don't know this barn in me. Yeah. This barn in me. Yeah. Because my family them too. As you can see my uncle for today. They are entertainer to them. In them their own artists, music in them, them love music and them look mm-hmm. something there. So I something where in me. And I like, you understand? In my jeans, I or in my skirt, or my blouse. <laughs> You're a different character, Papa. Really different. Listen, you've been thinner. We've seen you when you first came out, you were more fluffy. And then now you came down in size. But even in size, even yeah. your attitude kind of changed a bit. You're still the yeah. rough and tough, but, but the attitude changed change. a bit. What Have was with the transformation? All right, then. Um, Give birth to Jazir, my last son. He's nine right now. Five notes, say, I'm diabetic. And remember, I'm going to get me get for this slim thing and if I lose weight, you know. But the people don't really understand the health come first. So when I find out, say, I made the diabetic and thing, you know, I admit to the hospital. That's why one of the time people never did a similar. Mm-hmm. Then they just say, Pampate look like she done or whatever, but me that feel give birth, mm-hmm. you know, go through little depression and things like that. And, you know, give myself some time and recuperate and come back. Yeah. How easy or how hard was it to get back into the business after you took a break for a while? And, it's, and you know, so I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not even just a semi-tech. I'm just take a break for just give birth. Come, I still did a vice same way. Mm-hmm. I work up, till, up to my belly. Up till my belly at seven months old. Mm-hmm. I work. The last show I do, in a, in a, in the last overseas show I do at Guyana. Okay. And the last show, last, last show in a Jamaica. I think me and Flipper Mafia do that show. In the country. Yeah. Se- up till seven months. So you know, I could have seven months old. Yeah. Baby. So I work right up. And when I have baby, when I have baby one, when my one month, I get, me get up and left go work at Trinidad. So it's not like, I'm a still mash up the place same way and everything, but the people them was just, I look for me because I get slim and then they used to the pump potato till afterwards, you no know, months and years goes by, they realize, say, they have to accept me because you accept my fluffy. Which enough people cost me, you know, but me have to tell them, say, look here, mm-hmm. my health come first. Me have to exercise because knowing me, the tick, I'm going to lose the weight. I'm still, still, my body still firm, same way because I exercise. I go to the gym, I lift up some big tire, I run, I put in the work. So when they never see me like that, my daddy, I put in the work on my body. Because some people think, say, me do my body, or, you know, but this is all natural. Natural body, because... Everybody can represent for the body. You have somebody have to represent for the natural, natural body too. Of course. You understand? That's why my thick ladies, them love me the same way. Because when they hear my story, my fluffy divas, them still love me, represent for them the same way. Me tell them, say, look here, when you're fluffy, you have to spend time in your bathroom and be it. Because when them see fat people, I want to things them through them. Pan we, oh, we sour. And them look at something. Like, I remember them say them something to yeah. me, you know. Remember them chew them something at me and make me feel bad in myself, you know. Why, why are they always cussing Pampute? 
fluffy, you're getting cussy too. Mm-hmm. Slim, you're getting cussy because you're slim. But them can't cuss me no more because yeah. I look good, both fluffy and both slim. And I like, I look yeah. slim and I get slim and I look good. I look good, same way, both ways. And mm-hmm. everybody can pull off for me, do. Just like how you have some woman, when them black, them look good. And when them bleach, them look good. Mm-hmm. Well, me, me just, uh, me just natural. I could have bleach. I could have pierced up and the things that I like tattoo. Not saying I don't like piercing. I like the stuff them, but I just don't really do it for me. But I like see it. Yeah. You understand me here? When did you connect with Stacious now? Cause I know Stacious. Stacious is a friend word. from a long oh, while. Yes. She am a friend from a long while. She a one of them who to help me for do the exercising and you know, one time guy you could get me drink all the green juice, you know. Me spit out that me don't want that, you know. One time when they could catch me drink my tea without sugar, you know. I sell all water, me don't want the water for drink. And we are going that. Me want juice. Yeah. Me want like a colorine or something going on. What you go with that? Then I'm colorine. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So she one of them will help me to big up stations, yeah. Definitely, because I see you guys do a lot of workouts together and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I will motivate others. Mm-hmm. What is motivation with people? What's your super random? What's your favorite um, ice cream? I know you love ice rum cream. Rum and raisin. Rum and, why rum and raisin? You no, know, I just love rum and raisin from a little. I yeah. just love rum and raisin. Yeah. Because I know I heard you say somewhere that every Sunday... You have to go get Devon House uh, and ice cream. And then me, I don't look on that, I stop. I don't even want to eat about the ice cream. I don't have food, food, nothing. Because nobody comes in, I don't have food, food. Yeah. I send you, I send up my sugar, and then my sugar send up, pressure gone, gone up and be a problem. I come with the bag food, food store up on me. <laughs> After you see me look like nice and look good, you come with this one only about food, food. Leave me alone, man. Because one time, I crave, I don't so crave no again. I yeah. love food still, and I get me yeah. wrong, you know. But I don't so crave no like one time. Not like one time. You know. Yeah. So after you, you you lost the weight and everything, what was the first, because your image changed and everything, mm-hmm. so what was the first song you came with say, I'm here now? Hey, what a girl look good when she come out, mo come out, mo come out, mo come out. The man them a prick and my body no don't know, no don't know, no don't know. Me just a whine and a whine and a move it. Have me pa your mind and might lose it. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it seems like you're having fun with it too. Yes, you know I mean? man. I want to man. Because remember the film used to this thick pump with your rough and whatever. I know. So I get still don't know. So I just calm down and tone down. I want to mm-hmm. Girl, nice. Girl, look good. And I go out with herself. Yeah, you have to change. And then also, you know, my pitney them I get big. So I have to kind of change certain things. You understand? Mm-hmm. Your foundation, Single Mother Foundation. Yeah, we help a lot of single mothers. Not only single mothers alone, we help single fathers too, and we help um, people who not really have it like that and stuff like that. How did you come up with that? Because you seem to be, as I said, a real giving person until you say one wrong word and everything goes out the window. You understand? Yeah. What made you actually come up with this foundation here? Because when I, when I do this single mother song, a lot of um, young girls, you know, big women, a lot of people reach out to me. And they must say, them thank me for this song and whatever. And like, you know, it just come in my head, say, me, me, me need a foundation, a single mother foundation mm-hmm. for help single mothers. One of the main reasons to woman center. Mm-hmm. I usually go to the woman center when I have my son to go back to school to better myself. So that, I one of the things I'm realizing when I go there, you have some of the girl them, some of the man them family get them pregnant, them get raped. So you know, don't them a single one, they not a baby father and stuff like that. They not a pampas, they not a feeding. We got you a whole heap. So that just made me, you know, say, all right then. Me need a foundation. Me need some stuff. Mm-hmm. And I saw me just go about it and launch the foundation and thing and register the foundation and uh, get some stuff and bring to people. Some of the time, you know, give the parents, me try to get the kids them, the stuff them and thing like that because at, at least, you know, I have to buy a school bag or a school shoes as a single mother. Me give you that. You understand? So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, because that's definitely because you could see that you're caring. You really, you almost feel people's pain because you went through the same thing. Yes. Too. yes so you understand yes. what they're going through and you yes. don't want to see them. I know about pregnant it. and hungry. I can't tell about that. I mm. can't tell about pregnant and want to pack a pampas and can't buy a pack of pampas. I go walk at night time and, mm. and, and look 20 left for buy one single pampas. I mm-hmm. tell about boil the mint tea and walk and look at money for buy a pound of sugar just for sweet needs. So I know all of that store every day. 
So when they have it, me give it. Me not the richest artist, but at the end of the day, me share my broke bread. You get it. Mm. You understand. I was bringing up your strong personality already. Your strong personality has got you into some situations already. You understand? Like you and Beanie Man mm. over at Ghetto Splash. What was the situation with that 2017? I, every man are only female. I will put female up on the show and them don't show up on me. Show up out of respect and love and manners. Mm -hmm. And then no one murder him for profile. No. Like, you know, being a man did a bar much stage, like, you know, I'm for profile. Like, they are hurry me and, you know, and I go out with themselves. So, I just feel bad about it and I just lash out because some stay. Because I remember, you know, who do not pay me no money, I'm free, I come. I'm here, though. I make up, though. I buy clothes. I buy clothes, get the answer. I do everything. my gas everything. And then when I show up a disrespect, I don't like that. I got to talk. I'm a human being like everybody else, so I lash out. So, I guess I never like that. So, I go with friends for real one. Evelyn, and when we go to friends for real, I call to everybody and I never really call to him. So, you know, that's where him start cuss me and I say, oh, him don't like me and him don't like spice and we black and we this and we that and brrrr and talk a bag of things and say we more and say and thing and, you know, and draw a stool for lick me and me just talk up some things. Cause remember, we don't take disrespect from people because we don't give nobody no disrespect for putting on, you know. So nobody now just come style me and set things bow with so and deal with our way and we don't fix them up back, you know. And then the man, them wall him and wall me and him tell me about my mother and me tell him back about him mother. And that was it. And, you know, at, the at that time, we'd have Crystal and she come and she say some bag of things and whatever and talk some things and thing, you know. And me I say to myself, say, as a woman to woman, you should be a type of woman you'll call me one away and say, what go wrong? What go down? What happened? Let me explain to you and tell you, like, she never did that. She just come out and, oh, we have to talk to the lawyer and re, 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 and whatever, whatever. And you wasn't there, you didn't know. <laughs> but I just say, go make bagels, bagels. Me don't have him up now, none of them things. Then me just let go. Because at the end of the day, I want my blessing in and I don't make nobody make me not get my blessing from God. You saw me a glow because I'm clean from my head to my toe. My inside clean, my purge. So all of you who feel like I have them up, I don't have them up. I let go everybody and live a clean, good life. Because that brings you through. When your heart clean and your mind clean and you not think bad against nobody because some people, you know, them do the bad things and you know, feel like saying, you know, karma and I catch them, you know. You see karma? Show up at anybody yard at any given time. Remember me tell you that. No care about body be. Come and show up on you. Show up on you any time. And kick off your door and come in by you like a thief in the night. Come and play. So you be careful and you treat others according to how you want to be treated. Makes sense. Again, I feel like I'm speaking to a preacher, not even an artist. I feel like I'm speaking to a preacher mm -hmm. today. You understand your energy. One other situation that you got into. But this one was kind of weird because... I know this is with Nuffy. Nuffy is spices, Bridget. Mm -hmm. You're good with spice. What mm -hmm. was the situation with you and Nuffy? I don't know. I did do an interview and thing. I did do an interview. I never show them finishing line. I never book for the show. I just run up on the show and mash up the show. Mm -hmm. And all of book for the show never take the show like me. So to me, I did say, oh, we have some artists that are ready. Because I have some artists with you. Them never at that time nobody never nobody don't know who Shensia was. Nobody never knew Ash. You understand? Yeah. At that time. So him just say, A Shensia me at all. But at that time, me don't know, you have a whole heap of man artists with them book. Mm -hmm. They don't really book no female artists on the show. Beer, man artists them book. And for me as a female, I'm gonna mash it up and out do some of them man there. You understand? Me I say no for them, no for them not ready. You understand? But him just take up that. Because I never say man, woman, boy, or girl, or whatever. Him just... Because so him seem like problem, you know. Yeah. Him love problem and kiss kiss in a dance hall. Yeah. So, him just run with that and say, I shouldn't see me attack. And from that, you know, everybody just get sulky and say, oh, pompote, bad mind, and da 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 and whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, push come to shove and here and days goes by. We don't see me no bad mind. I fool she's not attack. We don't see a nuffy, a true that judgment never on me. And it never did that work because God know me. Mm -hmm. Now nah, I say no know nothing, you know, but him know my heart and him know say I lie, him I tell pa me. Yeah. Listen, we're not gonna if we're gonna go into that, we gotta go into where you actually fixed it, where a situation was fixed now, with you and Lisa Hyper. 
Okay. You understand? This was on Spice's show. I think it was you, Lisa Hyper, mm-hmm. Spice, and there was one more. Tifa was there also, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. How did it feel now to know, okay, yeah, you get into the controversy, you guys might clear it up off the air, but now you guys actually fix things. Yeah, man, I Lisa Hyper, I don't know my number, and we we'll talk, and she even put up something, and she like it. She said, send me it, same thing with me, send me it, or, come on, you're good, what, go on, whatever, whatever, and thing. Yeah, man. How did it feel to actually bury that now? Because you guys had vibes for, I guess it's no, like, man, like 10 yo, years. Yo, unity has strength, you know, man. Unity is strength, you know, and God loves good things, you know. You understand? So from a good yard, that have to feel good. Good is always better than bad. Real is always better than fake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You understand. Another big moment in your career now, but this is social media. Nicki Minaj actually liking your song and following you back. How did that feel now? Had Nicki Minaj, you know? That feel good. You know why it feel good? Come on, I'm tell you something. See, some people, them not going to rate until they see who them rate, rate you. Mm. You understand me? I say you have some people never comment and like nothing for me. So from them see Nicki Minaj start following me, them start following me, them start commenting. You hear man about that this long time. Uh, you have all, all, you have a friend too, family member too. And when them see Nicki Minaj as a pump put a dance to my song and tag me, send me all a drop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I say me come for telling you see a pump put season, a pump put time. That, that's I remember to you know, them as a pump I have no blue tick, you know. And me and, 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 and them I wonder. So oh, they have blue tick and Nicki you no know, see them. And me you know, I have no blue tick. Where them say me need to go get blue tick. I mean a verify, I mean a this, I mean a that. I would have a verify or not me a bad artist. I'm a talented. So whether I may have blue tick or not, God have a red tick for me. Yeah. I eat my try for show them. So when I talk about blue tick I wanna verify and whatever by Instagram. Nikki man not see me. I don't know if I wanna verify. Yeah. But she not so no. Where were you were you actually when you got that? Tag, were you having a good day and you just needed that boost? What was happening in your day that day when that happened? You know, it's a big man thing, I always try to be good. I don't have no money. Because sometimes money don't make you happy, you know, because I speak with all the money, you know. Mm-hmm. And they're not happy. Because mm-hmm. they have a lot of sickness. But that time, I don't know, I drive me, I drive me, my phone and ring off and I ping off and I have a little cousin. Mm-hmm. Name Candy, Candy Lee. Candy Lee, I, 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 I say, yo, Nicki Minaj follow you. You don't see that, cuz? Nicki Minaj follow you, cuz? And true, she is a fan of Nicki. She always say all of that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Not say me is a fan too, you know. Mm-hmm. But true, at the time, I drive me, I drive. Mm-hmm. So when I may see a bag of people start, yo, Nicki Minaj follow you. But the thing about it is that, um, so... Spice X dancer, then did a jump up and a kill up himself and I say, well, and I'm rolling the dirt and whatever, whatever, and thing. And the people must say, but Pink Wall, she fall a pump potato, and not them alone, she fall. Mm-hmm. You understand? And thing so, when she send me the drop now, just, me take me the text her before, I say, um, I said to her, I say, thank you for the acknowledgement. We really appreciate it. Bless up yourself. Enough love and blessings to you. Yeah. And she, said, and she said, big up, send me an email, me send you a drop. Bad artist, long time. Advertisement, advertisement, and I sing up my song. Another big moment you had in your career was being the only female artist on Charlie Slots, mm-hmm. Fire in the Booth. Fire in the Booth, me rough it up. How, how, was, how did that even happen? <clears throat> a friend of mine linked me and said, Pump it, you need this platform. Mm-hmm. And I wanted this when she called me to me to feel so sick. She said, you need a platform, yeah. And I said, all right, me, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And when I go to the future, I'm the only female that is certainly a beer man, Joshy, beer man. And I tell you, when I read me sing my song, you know, because I say, you're a beer man, I'm not going to get a song. A beer man, I talk about gun and chop and this and that and a boom and everybody, I drop them bum and rifle over this. Let me say, I'm mm-hmm. um, to them money, they feel like I don't have it too. 
And me just say, Tawail, bow them a chopper and not even no jelly them chop. Them boy, they know about them can give me no chat. Brawling, me defend me thing, me no back. I'm a dark, dark, then I know my skin a black. Tell them, bullet us and iron where we're muscle at. Boop, don't come call when you're up if I was in that. Fresh as land, Spanish town. Tell them, those are this kind them we get a dose of shot. All right. Some boy just bad behind phone screen. My bad alone and bad with my whole team. Millie Glock, Millie 14. Me badness and no show scene. There is a history. Mm. <laughs> Where did, okay, it's not even just the lyrics, it's the, the vibe behind the lyrics. The... Stand up strong and firm like the Rock of Gibraltar. Mm. Mm. But then you went from that chop a bad man, sir. Mm. Then you came up with this amazing. Gospel inspire inspiration yeah. song. Yeah. All right. God in the whole of we you know. Got good and bad in the whole of we, but me listen to the good voice more. Mm -hmm. God and time. God and All time. right. Who's who did you link up with to do the song again? All right. Minister Tanisha Shah. She's a Christian. Mm -hmm. She called me. Say she want to do a song. I tell Esco, call Esco. I'm say Esco. What do you think? Esco say yeah man from a God me night man. Esco get the rhythm. <coughs> Sorry. Esco get the rhythm. Build the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Send it to me. Yeah. I had to read my paper on my phone. And I got straight out of me can hear. Current time, current, I mean, no, no, no worry. We. I just started that, that was all I come up with. Yeah. No, no worry. We. Cause God, I go far away. Tell them no trouble. I'm reaching the studio, I start singing. It's because I go only it down. I'm just to buy a part. I'm going to call her and tell her, and then she come the next day. We meet up and we just finish this out. And that was it. It never hard. It never like it just like God just knew. Come here, say after the big pandemic here where everybody get a, get a hit. Mm -hmm. Everybody get liquid this big big pandemic here. No man would need something man. I guarantee man. But come here, everybody. I wonder when this is done. We can't fly going away. We're lucky that we all scurf you. We under bandage. So it's just guarantee. Mm -hmm. So I just you know. How's it doing for you right now? Yeah, man, it had a good man. Every woman could go perform it. I was in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. Sat the gun and trust me, I had the last song I do. Because when I do it, I have to talk to the people. I say, look here. If you know my wife, I'm sexy. I carry on myself on stage. And I tell them, say, look here, do watch this. The messenger does listen to the message. Mm -hmm. I remember God in the world, no matter how I dress, no matter how I look, I got my prayer to. You understand, I want to trust and believe in a God. And me just start, no, no worry, we. And God, I go far away. And then everybody just starts singing the song word for word. Mm -hmm. Down to the children, they've been at the school, know the song. Because even at the school right now, the people, they need God. They need God. No matter where you are singing or whatever, you have to have, have some little positiveness, man, to them, man. Because the whole pandemic licked them chip. Right now, you have some people right now pregnant. Molested by them family members over the whole COVID by staying home and stuff like that. Whole heap of them. A whole heap of people have got through some whole heap of depression. So then that song is That's, a comfort. Yes, that song is a comfort mm -hmm. for everybody. As I was telling you, when before the cameras turned on, that is potentially your biggest song of your career once it's worked properly. That song there is man. a it's massive a song. Massive song. Massive. Current time. Yeah. Real song. Big song there. But then now, you decided, okay, it's cool that you gave them the God song. Mm -hmm. Now you came back and gave them the girl song, Boom, it's like you, mm -hmm. you kind of went into church a bit, Our, then you ran out well, look and went know, to Boom. Listen to me, remember yeah. God gave me talent, you know. Mm -hmm. And me, I please everybody. Remember me, I have more than one gospel song. Me, have more song I come. Mm -hmm. For God, just like all oh, me sing for everybody else. Me have to sing for God too. Cause remember me telling you good and bad in you know, every man, you know. But uh, who you choose to listen to and who you choose to follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like that. Because I even like the fact that you're even doing a lot of music videos for your songs too. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Crazy. 2022 right now. What's next for you right now where are you planning on taking your career what's the plan right now for a honestly we don't really plan things we just always put in work and when you lazy God not like when you lazy God got eight feet the lazy people they may gear but him gear a little bit mm -hmm. but when you work him gear a whole heap yeah kind of sweat by the sweat of your bro you shall eat bread you understand I mean I me, 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 me just put in the work 
and make Father God fix it for me. As we may tell you, sometimes you kill up yourself and go over this and God have a whip or something over yourself for you. But you over this and carry this thing over there, you want go over this and fit you. So I just put in the work and make God do the rest. Preacher Pam Pute, leave some contact info where they could check you out, check out your music and all that good stuff before I get you. All right, first thing you know, you have to type in P-A-M-P-U-T-T-A-E, Pampute, on all digital platform, all social media. And you can DM me, you can email me, pampute100 at gmail.com. Or you can, you can email me at henryivina at gmail.com. That is my real name, spelled back way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big, big, big right there. You know, before I get you out of here, I'm going to need an acapella of God and time before okay. we go. That's what's going to take us out of this conversation right here. <laughs> no, no worry way. Cause God a cover way. Tell them no trouble way. Cause God a cover way. Let blessing flow my way. Me I beg you cover me. No, no worry way. Cause God a cover way. Well, who gotta put up them can't pull down? Who gotta wall up them can't wall down? Who got forward them can't stop? My God, now nah, make me worry about that. Tell them. God on time. God on time. With no fear evil or no bad mind. God on time. God on time. Tell you devil boy say. No, no worry way, cause God a cover way, tell them no trouble way, cause God a cover way, let blessing flow my way, me I beg you cover me, no, no worry way, cause God a Cover way, we are not afraid that he man, she man, or demon. Cause God a general in the region. Get a Bible a power when they read one. Fib out evil and them legion. So now me a blessing God show up on me. God call me them can't take my power from me. Don't no worry way. Cause God a cover way. Tell them no trouble way. Cause God a cover way. Let blessing flow my way. Me a beg you cover me. No, no, worry way, cascada, cover way. Pam Pute, as I said, mark my words today, 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 today. Biggest song, biggest song, biggest song right here. You understand? Your vibe, your energy, your conversation skills, everything has been amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for sitting down and doing yes, this today. God bless you. you know what I mean? Bless Big up Freddy for making this happen. You know That's what I mean? my uncle, right? <laughs> I'm a brother, right? Big up yourself, boss. You understand. Let me give you an outro and get you out of here because this conversation, Pampute, epic conversation. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com.